Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast for January 29th to February 10th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you would like a personal reading with me, it is jenniferwalkerzen.com or you can check out the description box below. Also guys, please remember that these are general messages. They're not gonna resonate with everyone. So you can check your moon, your rising, or your sun sign for more, inf more information. So feel free to cross watch. Remember that your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are. So feel free to cross watch if you want. Okay, and also remember that we're gonna be going over for this particular reading. This, we're going to be doing an assessment of your love interest. So this you can be single, couple, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to talk about their feelings for you, okay? Whoever you turn on this video for. And then we're going to talk about the outcome, what's going to happen in the next couple weeks. And then we're going to move on to the singles. So guys, let's jump right in. So let's go to my Sagittarius is Romantic Love Life for January 29th to February 10th. Let's go to my Sagittarius is Romantic Love Life for January 29th to February 10th. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going to happen my Sagittarius' Romantic Love Life for January 29th to February 10th? Sagittarius' Romantic Love Life for January. What card is here? Oh, improvements and changes. Sagittarius' Romantic Love Life for January 29th to February 10th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. This is going to be for their feelings here. How does Sagittarius' love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Sagittarius' love interest feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so this is going to be what's going on with this connection. This is the blockage to laser challenges to this connection. This is what they want from you to make the connection work. Wow, this is what's influencing this. And this is the outcome for the next couple weeks here, guys. And let's see what the feelings are here. Okay, so we got this, this, and this. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's a pretty extensive reading. We're gonna layer more cards on top of this. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going on with this connection? We got the Empress card energy which represents love, abundance, and fertility here. So we see there's some kind of creation, some sense of, you know, fertility for some of you, right? Uh, it's also a nurturing kind of energy there with the Empress card energy. Yeah, something of a surprise here. This is also like a socializing card, an attraction card energy. Also, when I think about the Empress card energy, remember she is the divine feminine, right? Of the major arcana, like the motherly energy of the major arcana. And so there's something of a surprise around this connection, uh, something to do with something of um, attraction, something of value, right? With that bouquet card energy. Nine also shows a sense of wishes being fulfilled. What's part of the blockage Australian challenge around this connection. Hmm. Queen of Swords. Now it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy involved here, or it could be seeing someone needs to speak their truth. And we see it's something to do with something that ended, stopped, or completed here with the coffin card energy. Yeah, for some of you, we see that fertility and that surprise, you know, uh, possibly this, there's a sense of, I want to start a family with them, um, right? Or there was something that was really nurturing and caring about that connection that really was a surprise to, the, to you or them. Um, also, there could have been a sense of, wow, there's really a, a love and abundance here. And um, this is really valuable to me. And it was like, you know, the block is laying challenges because somebody's not speaking their truth. And something had ended, stopped, or completed here with the coffin card energy. We see nine represents wishes being fulfilled and wanting to put the work or effort into that. So what do they want from you to make this connection work? We got the two of pentacles energy. It was saying, okay, I need you to make a choice. I need you to, to figure something out as far as a long-term choice, right? Because pentacles are something of value. They want something to be brought into balance when it comes to a choice, a heavy choice. Yeah, and it's to do with their wishes and hopes here, star card energy. 
a deeper connection here, right? And making that choice. And you know, it's interesting, what's influencing this connection is this, this tower card energy. There was really something of a surprise, something of a shock here around this connection. It was like, almost like you see this lightning it struck. It was like, oh my God, what the heck was that? You know, and yeah, the whip card energy is doing the same thing as the lightning, right? It was like, oh, what was that? You know, it really hurts. Oh, um, it was something that was really unexpected about this connection um, that caused some hurt and pain here with the whip card energy. Or there was some repeating, uh, there was a sense of like, wow, repeatedly, like this was really, really something. This connection was, was definitely a shocking connection. Okay, so we see that there is this love, this abundance, and trying to make some kind of choice about speaking truth because it was shocking. And there is this sense of surprise or attraction and a wish and a hope, or something hopeful here because something had ended, stopped, or complete, which caused some hurt and pain. Now he's saying, okay, I want to fulfill my wishes. I've been thinking, contemplating, analyzing. How can I put the work or effort into this choice? And we see how does this person feel about this connection now this is like the seven of pentacles energy here i'm willing to be patient with you because i'm willing to accept delay because i know anything worth having takes time and they feel like they want things to be brought into balance i have a lot to give to you i feel like you're an opportunity i want success here key card energy you're important because key cards represent importance so they're like, wow, you know what? I'm willing to be patient. I'm willing to things, for things to be brought into balance here because I feel like you're important to me. I feel like we can have an opportunity here with the key card energy. So let's see what's gonna happen in the next couple weeks here. So it looks like you guys are moving into calmer waters here with the Six of Swords energy, right? You're finally getting past these, these things that you've been dealing with and you're, you're focused on healing and recovering now and you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. You do still have a bit of this defeated energy here, okay, or the person you're dealing with does, they're having this defeated energy. Should I stand up and fight or walk away? Because there's they're not being honest with you about the Seven of Swords energy. They're not being honest about the fact that they feel this defeated energy here. We see that there's some other birds in this card and they're talking and speaking here. Um, I feel like maybe they're not being honest about this influence of other people here. Because even in this card, I see that there is a person in the background and someone is talking in someone's ear and we see other birds there. So I feel like, yes, you're getting helped here, but I feel like this person you're dealing with is having this defeated energy and they're not being honest with you about the influence of others here. All right, and then we got the ship card energy, which can represent movement change, okay? Or some kind of travel there and gaining some kind of knowledge or something secret here with the book card energy, which is causing some burdens and challenges here with the cross card energy. Let's keep going here. Six of Pentacles is saying, I have a lot to give, right? I wanna give to you, I wanna, you know, I want a balance here. And I just want, I wanna go into a long-term commitment with you, but I really wanna take things slow with the Knight of Pentacles energy. Because I'm going to be patient for things to be brought into balance here with the temperance card energy. So they, they're wanting things to be brought into balance. They know things are going to take some time here. And they're willing to be patient for things to be an equal give and take here with the temperance card energy. Wow. Okay. All right. So guys, we're going to move into the singles now. You can stick, out, stick around if you'd like. If you like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right. Let's move into our singles now. Bear with me for a second here. I'll we'll clear this out of the way. All right, what's going on, my singles? Sagittarius Romantic Love Life for January 29th, February 10th. What's going on my singles? Sagittarius' romantic love life for January 29th to February 10th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. What's going on my singles? Sagittarius' romantic love life for January 29th. What card wanted to pop out there? The tower card. Things structured and organized in a certain way. There is a sense of isolation or separation. So my Sagittarius Ingalls Romantic Love Life for January 29th to February 10th. Show my cards I need to see. 
show them the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see. So, current situation. We've got the Empress card energy. Something to do with love and abundance. And there's some talking and speaking happening here. So, somebody's being very nurturing, and they're talking and speaking, and there's communication happening here. And there seems like this particular bird seems very excited about it. And they're like, oh, you know, let's... And the other person is just kind of curious, like, what's going on here? What's the Black Australian challenge? It's like you're trying to gain uh, clarity here when it comes to this person, okay? And also, with the, when I see the Empress, for me, um, it's, it's a, an energy of could be a work-related thing there with the Empress card energy or there's something to do with about this person and attraction and abundance and the sense of love and it's like, all right, I wanna talk and gain clarity here because there's a sense of confusion when it comes to this person or this person is confused about what's going on with you and them, okay? Because that's part of the Black Chilean challenge. So it looks like your influence is you're gonna have to make some kind of choice and you're having a sense of, oh my God, I feel burdened by this. I have to make this choice here. Three plus six is seven, eight, nine. Will this fulfill my wishes here? So let's see how this is gonna play out here. Yep, Emperor. I do feel like for some of you, this is a work-related thing going on here. Uh, Emperor represents a boss, okay? Something to do with work. Uh-oh, tower card's coming out. Something shocking about this. You're gonna have to make some kind of choice coming up here. All right, or you're gonna be some, there's gonna be juggling going on here. All right, so Emperor represents a boss, okay? Uh, Emperor represents a folly figure. Emperor represents work. And so it's like the strategic energy, organizing, structuring things in a certain way, which is coming as a shock here, as a surprise here, because you're gonna have to make this big choice. Two of Pentacles energy. Yeah, there's an opportunity coming up for you guys. Something to do with a person here coming out. Possibly for some of you, something to do with a long time, Lily's part energy, or you're you're, you're kind of like, hmm, should I be patient here? I need to make this choice, or you're trying to make wise decisions when it comes to this choice here. Oh my goodness. All right, yes, you know I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your couple weeks here. I'll see you guys in another date or two and have a great rest of your two weeks and I'll see you in another date or two. Thank you to my members. I'll see you